more you travel on Look up, look up And seek your maker For Gabriel blows his horn Weary toting Such a load Trudging down the lonesome road Look down, look down The lonesome road Before you travel on True love, true love What have I done That you should treat me so My story is much too sad to be told But practically everything leaves me totally cold The only exception I know is the case When I'm out on a quiet spree Fighting vainly the old ennui And I suddenly turn and see Your fabulous face I get no kick from champagne Mere alcohol doesn't thrill me at all So tell me why should it be true That I get a kick Out of you So 
I'm like the perfume from Spain Spain <laughs> I'm sure that if I took even one snip It would bore me to rip Thickly to yet I get a kick Out of you I get a kick Every time I see you standing there before me <clears throat> I get a kick, though it's clear to see You obviously do not adore me I get no kick in a plane Flying too high with some chick in the sky is my idea of nothing to do. Yet I get a kick. You give me a boot. I get a kick. How do you? gentlemen and welcome to the first show of our series and it's nice of you to show up in fact they told me that it was nice of me to show up <laughs> we're teeing off tonight with a mighty big one we think we're fortunate to get the services of mr bob hope miss kim novak and miss peggy lee seems that steve allen gave them all a three-day pass <laughs> we plan to have quite a soiree this evening they'll be dancing and singing and from time to time we will interrupt the program to bring in the exact whereabouts of orson wells <laughs> as you know <clears throat> As you know, each week I come to you through the courtesy of my mother and father in Chesterfield. <laughs> Chesterfield. You start with the grade eight tobacco, the best that you can get. It's the sound of big pleasure, the sound I'll be making for Chesterfield in this time spot every week. It'll be easy for me because Chesterfield is my brand. It has been for years. No kidding either. A satisfied customer, I wear them every day. Chesterfield. Big flavor, clean, smooth, and fresh. More of what you're smoking for. Why? It's easy. Straight grade A tobaccos in this cigarette. The best tobaccos in the USA. So smoke them and get satisfied, friend. And that's how it's gonna be around here. Chesterfield for Sinatra, and Sinatra for Chesterfield. You come around Friday nights here, see the fun and hear me tell you about Chesterfield. And at this time, it's my pleasure to bring you a gentleman who was nice enough uh, to uh, come back to the United States to visit here just for this show. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Hope. <laughs> Sir, welcome back, Robert. Thank you, Frank. Frank, oh boy. What you been up to? Well, I'm a little tired. I've been helping Mike Todd with the dishes. <laughs> Say, uh, is it really true that that whole thing was on a diner's card? <laughs> Couldn't be. How about, How about that about thing? That? Did you time? see Elsa sneering? What about that, huh? I can't believe it. 18,000 guests? No, they weren't guests. They own a piece of the picture. Look, uh, <laughs> oh, I see. you know, I want to say it's wonderful to see you, and I've just came down to congratulate you on the beginning of your new series. I know what a thrill it is for you to step out here on the stage in front of millions of people and know that deep down in your heart, you're insecure. <laughs> I can see right away that your idiot card is funny in mine. <laughs> what are you doing here? It's not like you to be caught here in America. <laughs> well, I did it as a favor. I brought back John Foster Dulles' laundry. <laughs> That's a pretty big responsibility. His laundry mark is top secret, I hear. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you're able to make it because I needed some support in my first show. Well, thank you very much. I didn't want to take the rap alone. <laughs> well, you're forcing me to the wall, baby. I may have to get out my skinny jokes. Again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
better stand this way. They'll never see you. Say, uh... <laughs> Frank, you know, you grabbed me just in time for the show. I have to take off again right after this little mess. Oh, you're clowning. Where are you going now? Well, the State Department has commissioned me to spread American flu all over Asia. <laughs> big, 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 big. Now, look, I don't want to uh, overdo this humble bit, but I sincerely appreciate you taking out your time to come here as our special guest. Well, I'm performance. thrilled because you finally made it, Frank. You're in television. I can't... I can't wait to see you die in living color. <laughs> Easy, please. This is our first show, our debut in television. Television, the medium that's rapidly replacing good times. <laughs> but you have nothing to worry about, Frank. I caught you on that show Sunday with a fellow who shall remain fat and nameless. <laughs> you know, we were really pleased, though, that you dropped in there Sunday night. It was a big thrill, too, for me to work with Mr. Crosby. Mr. Crosby? Yes, sir. No one calls him Mr. Crosby except the Internal Revenue Department. He's the 11th Commandment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me something, uh... What did you think of my performance on the show? Well, you never look better, Frank. Of course, anyone who works with Bing never looked better. <laughs> I don't know about that. I thought we, we went very well together. Like a meatball and spaghetti. <laughs> Aren't you being a little rough on old Bing? After all, a man who sings White Christmas all year round can't be all bad. <laughs> I don't care. I've kept this <clears throat> secret long enough. I'm going to tell it. You're going to tell what? Did you know that Bing was drummed out of Slenderella? No. <laughs> They caught him nibbling during push-ups. <laughs> oh, the poor guy, he's hooked. Why do you always, you always knock him, though, you know? It's kind of cruel. You call him an old man, you say he's fat and he's rich, and that he can't sing anymore. Don't you know the truth hurts? <laughs> well, well? <laughs> enough about the man with the golden hips. Let's get to you, the man without any. Would you be serious for a moment, Robert? Maybe you can help me. You're a veteran of TV. You've done hundreds of shows and always got big ratings. What's the secret? Well, the secret of TV, of course, is to be visual. <laughs> Guess that lets you out. <laughs> no, I think you'd be better waiting for a new medium. I think you'd be a smash on radar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just think of it, the singing blip. <laughs> you mean that's that bad, huh? Frank, you just can't plunge into television without some preparation. Mm. Well... I did some, only this morning I took a smiling lesson from Betty White. I did, did I? I'm going snow blind, I don't know about you. <laughs> and while the audience is wondering about that last joke, you stand here with egg on your face, I'm gonna make like a good MC, go to my right and introduce Miss Peggy Lee. You'll excuse me. I'll you? be waiting. <laughs> Who is he? I can't stand him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite people, an all-time great singer. Here she is, a swinging gal and a swinging tune, Miss Peggy Lee.
wise man once said that one picture is worth a thousand words. When he said that, he must have been thinking about Miss Kim Novak. If they ask me, I could write a book about the way you walk and whisper and look. I could write a preface on how we met so the world will never forget and the simple secret of the plot one minute is just to tell them Just a second, please. <laughs> I can't keep my mind on my work. You're distracting me. Uh, you know, Kim, it's uh, not easy to sing a song to you. Well, you're not only such a wonderful singer, Frank, but, but you're a gentleman as well. Hmm. And I wish I could tell everybody just what a thrill it was working with you and pal Joey, I mean. Well, you're, you're not only beautiful, but... But you're a gentleman, too. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> I saw the preview, uh, Kim, and I thought your performance was just sensational, the picture. And um, uh, I hope you get to see the picture pretty soon, too, because I know you'll like it. Will you folks talk to each other while we... Uh... <laughs> you know, you inspired it, that's why. Really? Hmm. Say, you know, the word is out that pal Joey is a gasser. A gasser? Well, it means it's an old expression meaning I'll meet you at the bank. <laughs> also, I'm going to meet you in a few minutes in a little sketch with Mr. Hope. You may get a few surprises in the sketch, but it'll be laughs. Well, you know, the sketch has been bothering me, though, because I, I was wondering if you had any idea what I should wear. Hmm, I don't know. Well, how about something sort of strapless? No, the queen might be watching. She may stop flying for an hour or so and might be watching the show. <laughs> Why don't you just get into something comfortable, and while you're making a change, I'll drop a tune in here somewhere. Oh, boy. Ding, 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 ding. She gets too hungry for dinner at eight. She loves the theater, and she doesn't come late. She'd never bother with people she'd hate. That's why the lady is a tramp. Doesn't like crap games with barons and earls. She won't go to Harlem in ermine and pearls. She won't dish the dirt with the rest of those girls. That's why the lady is a tramp. She likes the free, all that free fresh wind in her hair. Life's without care. She's broke, but it's hope. She loathes California Cause it's cold And it's damp That's why The lady is a tramp She gets far too hungry To wait around for dinner At eight She adores the theater And she doesn't Arrive late She'd never bother with anybody she'd hate. 
That is why the lady is a tramp She'll have no dice game With any sharpies or fraud She will never make a trip to Harlem In Lincoln's or Ford She won't dish the dirt With the rest of those broads That's why the lady is a tramp She loves the free All that fine, free, fresh wind in her hair Her life's without care She's broke, but it's oak Hey, California It's so cold and it's damp I could never dig how a penguin could be in one of these things 24 hours a day. <laughs> Those of you who saw a motion picture, this will be clever. If I was a girl, this would be easy. <laughs> Those of you who saw a motion picture called The Joker's Wild probably remember a particularly haunting tune called All the Way. So for you dirty rats who didn't see the picture, I'd like to do it now. When somebody loves you 
It's no good unless he loves you. All the way. Happy to be near you when you need someone to cheer you. All the way. Taller than the tallest tree is That's how it's got to feel Deeper than the deep blue sea is That's how deep it goes If it's real When somebody needs you It's no good unless he needs you All the way Through the good or lean years And for all the in-between years Come what may Who knows where the road will lead us Only a fool would say But if you let me love you It's for sure I'm gonna love you All the way All Somebody needs you It's no good Unless he needs you All the way Through the good or lean years And for all the in-between years Come what may Who knows Where the road will lead us Only a fool would say If you let me love you It's for sure I'm gonna love you All the way All originally wanted a western so I thought I'd give in a little bit well, that's enough of that jazz <laughs> Frank why are you treating me like an audience <laughs> I'm sorry Rob I guess I'm not a very good cowboy oh I don't know I, I saw Johnny Concho <laughs> <clears throat> first time I ever saw him use ponies in a western <laughs> I didn't see it I was too busy making a comeback You have been a busy boy. Frank, I know that you just made a picture in France, true? I did. And uh, I'm getting a little tired of traveling, too, as a matter of fact, now that you bring it up. Of course, not too long ago, I went to Spain to do that picture of uh, the Pride and the Passion. I had to rush right back here, and I went right back to France to do Kings Go Forth. I'm so beat, I have the only passport picture that looks better than I do. <laughs> I know what you mean, Frank. I saw the Pride and the Passion. I'm a little disappointed in you. With Sophia Loren around, you and Cary Grant are fighting over a cannon. <laughs> oh. No, but it was a good deal. It was very, very good. I thought it was very I'm nice. I'm glad you liked it. It wasn't too tough pushing the cannon around because Sophia was in the back pushing all the time. Wow. You know, I just got back from France myself. I did a picture over there with Fernandel called Paris Holiday. Mm -hmm. A couple of very beautiful girls. Anita Ekberg, to name a few. <laughs> 
Martha Heyer, a very lovely uh, lady from Texas. Yes. Nice work, you know, that kind of work. But it's getting rough because nowadays the fad is that uh, an actor has to go overseas to make a movie. You're not kidding. I've had so many shots every time I sit down, I kill a new disease. <laughs> You know, ever since the, uh, the advent of the big screen, nobody seems to want to make a picture in Hollywood anymore. The background is becoming much more important than the story. Well, you know, I have, I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to see one of those new movies. You are in luck, my boy. <laughs> I just happen to have two tickets to a sneak preview. Now, don't be a sneak and come along with me. I'm taking you to the movies. Oh, well, I'm not sitting with you in row 35. Oh, don't be chicken. <laughs> Grab the chair. Be my guest. <laughs> got here just in time. Why do you keep running away? Oh, John, please. We've been through all this. I can't marry you. It, it just wouldn't be fair. But I love you the way you are, dear. All mixed up. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm leaving you. But, Laura, yours is the face in the misty light. Your footsteps are here down the hall. I guess we're both mixed up. <laughs> oh, John, it's no use. Here. Take back your ring. It's another man. No, no. It's not another man. It's him. <laughs> Laura! Laura, I'm glad I got here in time. I love you. Marry me. Why let your money stand between us? Oh. I'll spend it. Harris. Harris, it's just no use. Take back your ring. What are you doing, pulling a Gabor? Here, yeah, we're through. Oh, but yours is the face in the misty night. Yours is... I tried that bit, buddy. It won't work. <laughs> Laura, if you leave me, I'll kill myself. I'll stand on the third rail with wet socks. <laughs> How could you leave, Laura? You must love one of us. Make a choice. Oh, no, you just don't understand, either of you. You see, I've got to make up my mind. I've, I've got to find the real me. Laura, I want you to know one thing. The real me loves the real you. And when you find the real you, write the real me, and the two of us will have a real ball. Really? Break it up, kids. You're bending the mink. You won't take it back. Look, that's my train now. I yeah. haven't heard it, <laughs> No, it's coming out there. <laughs> A little late. Come in, Casey. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's hock the rings. <laughs> find the real me. Laura! Oh, John, why did you follow me? I didn't follow you. I won a contest. <laughs> Laura, forget this nonsense. Marry me. No. Oh, not my yet. old man will never believe all of this. No, not yet. John, please, just have a little bit of patience with me. You see, I'm just going through a stage. Mm. You see, I'm neurotic. Well, so am I. Let's just bite our nails and go home. You don't understand, do you? I understand one thing. I am only a man. You're only a woman. What's holding things up? Ah, oh, sneaking off to Paris together, huh? And all the time I was looking on Mulholland Drive. Oh, please. please, let's not make a scene. Oh, but I love you. And to prove it, here's the pawn ticket for the ring. Paris, you are forcing me into a decision that I know you're going to regret. Please, can't you see that you've got to forget me? I, I, I'm not a homemaker. Yeah, but you're playing Russian roulette with my heart. Laura, if you don't marry me, I'll kill myself. 
I'll go to the Moulin Rouge and let the Can-Can girls kick me to death. <laughs> No, it's, it's just no use. I have to be alone. Goodbye. Goodbye to Paris and all of you. Well, sir, here we are in Paris. What do we do? What do you say we go down to the French Assembly and watch the government get thrown out? <laughs> Oh, taxi. Oh, excuse me, that's a U-boat? <laughs> no, sir, it is not a U-boat. This happens to be a gondola. Oh. Oh, I beg your pardon, ma'am. I didn't know this gondola was taken. Harris. Laura. Laura, you're more beautiful than ever. Marry me. We'll let the captain of this boat perform the ceremony. No, I can't, Harris. Believe me, baby. This isn't just a, just background. No music, huh? <laughs> this isn't a shipboard romance, darling. I'm sorry, but I just can't marry you. You see, Harris, it's, it's like this. There, there's a, a, a voice inside of me, and it keeps crying out to me to run and run and run. I, too, have a voice crying out with me. It keeps crying out in case of fire, break glass. I think it's Smokey the Bear. I wish there was a better joke. Darling, do, do, do. <laughs> let me take you to dinner and we'll discuss it. Do, 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 do. Oh, Captain Quig. Yes, sir. <laughs> do you know a good place to eat? I know a fine Italian restaurant. Where? The Villa Capri in Hollywood. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, we'll all eat there now, <laughs> won't we? Oh, why can't men leave me alone? Shall I tell her? <laughs> How do you like that? Hey, Paisan, <laughs> you want a map of the movie stars' homes? <laughs> Dina Lola Vegeta, Sophia Loren, <laughs> Anna Magnani, Dean Martin, <laughs> Silvana Mangano. Slip me a drama, mean. Let's go. Here go. we go. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Laura, at last I caught up with you. Quiet. Quiet. I, I want to drink all of this in. <laughs> what is that, Jackie Gleason's shower? <laughs> Marry me, Laura, and we can make our... <laughs> we can have our honeymoon right here in Niagara Falls. Harris, I'm making up my mind right now. Darling, I got your message, and I rushed right over here from Provo, Utah. <laughs> I'm so glad you're both here, <laughs> because I finally made up my mind. Oh, good. <laughs> I will give you my decision. Well, who will it be? Who will it be? It's him. <laughs> She's found the real self. She's, she's Jane Eagles. How do you like that? She turned us down for the man with the gray flannel head. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do we do now? Well, we might as well wait for the cartoon.
Loves the same old sad sensation Lately I've not slept a wing Since this silly situation Has me on the bling I'm wild again Beguiled again A simpering, whimpering child again Bewitched, bothered and bewildered Am I? Couldn't sleep, wouldn't sleep Then love came and told me I shouldn't sleep Bewitched, bothered and bewildered Am I? Lost my heart, but what of it? She is cold, I agree She might laugh, but I love it Although the laugh's on me I'll sing wraps it up for tonight. I do hope you enjoyed it. I had fun doing it. I'm sure you noticed that. You know, television just doesn't happen. A great deal goes on behind the scenes. It takes a lot of good people, a lot of wise people, and a lot of hard work. And I'd like to thank all of these good people who uh, helped put this thing on. And a large thanks to ABC and to Chesterfield for making it possible to bring the show together. And as for my guests, Kim Novak, Peggy Lee, and Bob Hope, I'd like to thank them personally. Good night, Kim. You were lovely. Good night, Frank. It was fun. Good luck with the new show. Peggy, as always, you were the most. Let's do it again real soon, shall we? Thank you, Frank. I'd love to. Good night, Frank. Robert, I can't thank you enough, sir. Well, try money. That's always nice. <laughs> Good night, Bones. <laughs> so long, hips. <laughs> Put your dreams away for another day. And I will take their place in your heart. Wishing on a star Never got you far And so it's time to make A new start When your dreams at night Fade before you Then I'll have the right 
adore you Let your kiss confess This is happiness, darling And put all your 